The parishioners of the All Saints and St. Patrick parishes welcomed their new parish priest, Rev. Ezra Minty, and new deacon, Raymond Cummings, Jr., during the joint service last Sunday. More details from Jalissa Hines. On Sunday, May 1st, parishioners of the All Saints and St. Patrick's Parish welcomed their new parish priest, Rev. Ezra Minty, and Deacon Raymond Cummins, Jr. as their first joint service in their new positions. Deacon Raymond Cummins Jr. sang the Holy Gospel. Peter felt hurt because he said this to him the third time. Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wish. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of Christ. Reverend Ezra Mintin delivered the sermon. Today, that dream is realized. To those of us who do not belong, do not believe, in dreams, dreams do come true. I am a son of the soil. I was, if I should say, born and bred an Anglican in New Amsterdam, even though I was born in Kanchi. I always attended all things Anglican Church. Reverend Minty went on to add, A few years I left here to take up parish priest at, of St. Margaret's Anglican Church. But my love was always with all things. And from time to time, I will let them know that because I will talk very much about all things, all my experience, and whenever I want to basically give them an example, it will always be about all things. And I warn them not to become too um, basically jealous or anything, but all things is where I had my foundation. I will always be somewhere close to my heart. Reverend Ezra Minty is now parish priest of the All Saints and the St. Patrick's parishes, which includes St. Columba and All Souls. He will also continue as parish priest of the St. Margaret's Parish, Griveton. I am your boy, I am your son, I am your child. I would have worked with all of you over the years. And it is time we get back to basics. It is time that we throw off the slackness. We must do this. And of course, I need all hands on them. I'm not asking you to condone mediocrity. I'm not asking you to condone when persons are not doing the right thing. But what I ask you this morning is to love so much that 
We do not basically go looking for the bad things. We work with the good things. We should love one another. And if we love one another as Christ loves us, then love will always be now. Further, Reverend Minty revealed, I would like people to tell me as it is, whether I'm doing good or whether I'm doing bad, I want you to tell me. However, be respectful in how you put it over. Sometimes it is not what we say, but it's how we say. As we move on, I expect people to be honest. Don't keep anything inside and go out and tell it to someone else. Approach, of course, myself and the beacon. Approach us respectfully, and I'm sure we will be willing to listen. He then highlighted that changes must be executed in the church. Today, as we embark on a new journey, a new chapter in the chapter of All Saints Anglican Church, I invite you all to invite others to a different way of life. First of all, I invite you to a different way of life. Things will not be the same. Business will not be as usual. For from the time I entered the church this morning, and I will see it as it is, I was not pleased. I was not pleased with different things. However, we will change that. And together, we must change that. Reverend Minty emphasized on the need for parishioners to do more in the church. We need to reach out to sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so and find out how are you doing? If I should say during the pandemic or even after, how many of you would have reached out to a brother or a sister who you did not see coming to church for a while? In fact, we should be annoyed with the priest when the priest does not do his work. We should be annoyed with the deacon when the deacon does not do his work. But also, we should be annoyed or angry with ourselves when we are not doing what God asks us to do. In conclusion, he said, It's time all things take its rightful place back as a well-respected church in this society. And I hope all of you during the years that it was not the year and you would have been angry, you will come on board and say, okay, this is what I will do. This is a new beginning. And I hope you look at it. It is a chance to renew ourselves. It is a chance to get back where we were and to better. We need to make that change. The All Saints and St. Patrick's Parish will now benefit from a joint ministry from a priest and a deacon. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.